Take a look, it's on the web, or at least that's the plan. Former Reading Rainbow host and executive producer LeVar Burton is trying to give a new generation of children a chance to go anywhere and be anything by creating a web accessible version of the show. We're creating an unlimited library of books and video field trips for today's digitally connected kids. Delivered through browsers, right into schools and homes, everywhere. To do that, Burton launched a Kickstarter campaign Wednesday to raise $1 million to make a web version of Reading Rainbow completely free. The hit show originally ran for more than two decades and scored a Peabody Award and several Emmys along the way. But according to Burton, the publicly funded show was taken off the air because of the implementation of 2001's No Child Left Behind Act. No Child Left Behind is doing exactly that, and so the mandate is to teach kids how to read, the rudiments of reading, and there was no money in the budget to encourage, to foster a love of reading. Shortly after Reading Rainbow went off the air, Burton and his business partner bought the global rights to the brand and started RR Kids, a digital media company for, well, you guessed it, kids. With the rights to Reading Rainbow, Burton and RR Kids helped launch an iPad app of the children's show, but that wasn't enough. Burton told The Verge only 33% of families in the U.S. have access to tablets, while 97% of families have internet access. He added, you take advantage of where kids are. Back in the 80s, that was in front of the television set. Today, you have to have access to the web. Universal access is really what this effort is all about. While some Kickstarters reward contributors with never-before-experienced products, Burton says in his pitch he's offering autographs, a personalized voicemail message, a group picnic, and probably the most intense reward, a chance to rock the visor he wore as Lieutenant Geordi LaForge on Star Trek The Next Generation. Burton and the Reading Rainbow crew have until July 2nd to reach their goal of $1 million. But at press time, they were already way past the halfway mark. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.